I know, giant murder cat back. And this week, since we're coming up on the big old good old spooky season, thought I'd carve a good old gourd to celebrate Halloween. So we've got, I've named him Gordon Ramsay because yeah. Anyway, so I bought a colossal carving kit, which as a giant murder cat, I figured would work very well. So I was at Walmart and I was like, hey, I haven't carved a pumpkin since I was like seven years old. What should I get? And the lady goes, get the super goop scooper kit. And honestly, I was sold. It says colossal. I can actually probably hold at least two of these items in this kit. So I was like, all right, you got me sold. So I got a good old pumpkin. Got the super goop scooper. And this comes with stencils. Let's see if I can show off a couple. The, ooh, scary skeleton. How would you even... That looks like not fun to carve. Um, I'm just gonna use some artistic liberty and do my own pumpkin. We have little lights. I have to pull this off. We got little uh, not flammable lights so my pumpkin doesn't catch on fire. I know the old school way is supposed to like... Alright, that's not gonna come off. So, uh... That's the job for you. My good old posable thumbs. Oh wow, that just kind of... That's not a book anymore! <laughs> well... <laughs> it always makes me feel better when it's not just me. It's actually the packaging that's miserable to open, considering that all of your fingers are actually useful and it takes that amount like it took that entire time to open that so I, I don't need that I don't need no stencils oh god don't throw don't throw sharp objects at me <laughs> I can't pick it up why did you do this to me another video aka trying to pick up everything all right, so we lost the marker already. Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna mark up good old Gordon with his uh, plastic sur or I guess it's not plastic surgery. So we gotta cut the top. So that'll be the top, and then, let's see. He said this side is the side that we were gonna do. So, scoot back a little bit. And, I'm gonna do One eye. Try to do some symmetry here. Ooh, that kind of came off a little bit. So this is going to be about the general gist of things. Get the goop bucket out of the way. You can see that. We're gonna we're gonna carve this good little boy. So marker out. We got our general idea. Don't need that anymore. So let's start carving, dude. Let's just jump right into it with the only one that I can probably hold. This big scary shiv. I'm 
don't know if I can even puncture it. Ooh, our first cut. And that's it. It's not going anywhere else. And that's it. That's the video. I carved a pumpkin. All right. I wonder if it's like not ripe yet. Like what if it's not ready to be cut yet? Am I going in the right direction? <laughs> Alright, so come back to the Oh, this is so weird. I don't think I actually carved it. I think I just drew the face and my dad did it for me. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Gordon. I feel like I need a kitchen knife. Like, I feel like this shiv is not... My prison shiv isn't very effective. a little too far. Am I, <laughs> am I connected yet? How do I get it out? I don't think any of these lines are connected. Huh? Is it? How do I get it out? It has no stem. <laughs> it's a little chip there. Yeah, you can come try to get it off if you want. Do you want the prison shiv? I got him good. <laughs> How was my line work? Oh, see, I was just a little off. And by a little, I mean a lot. So, uh, we'll take that top off. Heck yeah. Friend, family friendly command right there. Look at all those insides. Throw them in the goop bucket. Alright. I don't remember where I put the scooper. Let's get the scooper. Thank you for your assistance as always. Alright. Super goop scooper. Let's go. Let's scoop some goop out. Oh heck yeah. This is gonna take forever. I don't wanna like reach all the way in there for obvious reasons. But I'll get some good ASMR going for you here. Let's let's listen to this. Some goop scoop in action. He's pretty dry. <laughs> so it's not really that's a lovely sound. I like that sound. I'd go to sleep to that sound. Of eviscerating a gourd. Alright, so uh, we're gonna cut and have someone that's actually competent at scooping out these innards because uh, at this rate 
this is gonna take like an hour and uh yeah so we'll be right back hocus pocus all the goop is out ocus so we are eviscerated and now it is time to carve our face this might be a this should be a little bit easier because now i can actually carve into something that's hollow and i can see a little bit better not a whole lot but And we restructured the stencil a little bit. It was a bit easier for me to see it because when we picked it up, the marker like came right off. <laughs> I'm going off track a little bit. Probably doesn't help that the blade's like already bent and like useless. Alright, it's gotta connect to where I cut last. Eventually. Not the cleanest, but it should do. I think that should be good. You wanna come see if the eyeball will come out? Nope. I suck at this. I did the groundwork, okay, so it's not clickbait. I'm just getting some help. Oh wow, look at you go to town on that. Oh, I was close. See? Same as last time. I was close. Alright. Round two, Mr. Gordon. I think for one of my first pumpkins primarily by myself in a fursuit. I'm doing pretty okay. Getting a little bit of help, but there ain't nothing wrong with asking for help when you need it. My pumpkin would stop running away from me. Except your stabbings. Except the love. Come back. I feel like when I'm using a can opener, but it like won't go on to the part that you want it to open and you just keep going around the can until it like works. If you use like a super cheap can opener from like the 99 cent store because you didn't want to go all the way to Walmart because you don't have a car. Relatable feels. I'm just pushing it away the entire time. <laughs> Come here. Accept my love. Alright. So there's that. Oops. This is exhausting. Carving a pumpkin's hard. There, should be connected now. It's not click blade if I do 75% of the work, right? We gotta 
to use the eyes. <laughs> All right. Not for this W. I don't know how I'm going to get the W to work. Um, let's see. I'll go like this. We're going off-roading here now. the track was maybe not a good idea. At least I can have like an actual hold now. Alright. Connect the line somewhere. Where are you not connected? Oh, I did my own part. It wants to come out somewhere. Oops, I cut off like way off the mark. Yeah. Come in and help out if you see where I'm going with that. This pumpkin's gonna be fun to get out of my paws. Where did I mess up? Are you just covered in the whole thing? Alright, so, new name. I carved 25% of a pumpkin in my full suit. Yeah, I kind of give up at this point. I did pretty much a good amount of work considering the circumstances and the fact that now I have pumpkin in my paws. Alright. Now I'm going to try. I won't try to finish it. It's my, my project. I'm not a quitter. Off-roading again. Oh my god, look, I did it! I can't pick it up. <laughs> huh? Oh, stab it? Oh <laughs> I'm sorry, Gordon. I'm sorry, Gordon. There we go. Look! It's not clickbait. I did carve a good majority of it. And there's our good old pumpkin. So we're going to cut to clean up some pieces and finish up this good old pumpkin. And we'll so show you how Gordon looks when he's all prettied up. Alright, so we did a little bit of uh, 
cleaning up a little bit of creative additions to our good old little buddy Gordon. So we're going to turn off the lights so you can get the full effect. And here is our Gordon. I love him. I think he's adorable. I'm really happy considering this is probably like the second pumpkin I've carved in my life. I had some help. I appreciate the help. Always appreciate the help from my lovely cameraman. And carving this guy was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle yet again. I'm just gonna rename my channel. First Suitor struggles to do everything in every video. Cause that seems to be the common theme. Like, I don't know, do you guys enjoy watching me struggle doing things? I some sort of like schadenfreude stuff. I don't speak German, but you know the word. But all jokes aside, I really like doing videos for you guys and I thought sharing a moment like this of carving a pumpkin for like the second time in my life. Like I said, I, li I think I literally only carved one when I was like seven. So carving a pumpkin, pumpkin for you guys. A little Gordon Ramsay and really happy with him. I think you guys will like him a lot. Give him some love down in the comments. If you want to see more of me struggling in my giant animal costume, please like and subscribe. Beat the crap out of that bell. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.